Page. Here comes the pressure. Justin Lewis, a freshman out there at court, cornerback, and the pass is intercepted. Picked off by the Minutemen. Bakari Goodson has the first takeaway of the season, and UMass is in business. Goodson is playing that corner spot to the right side. That's where you would have had Isaiah Rogers and the ball. Boy, he's just in the right place at the right time. Bakari Goodson to be able to snag that football. For those of you following at home, one of the many number changes for UMass. Bakari Goodson, now number 45 in your program. And right now, number one in Minuteman fans' hearts. 13 interceptions last year for UMass. They look to cash in right away, and it is caught for a touchdown. <laughs> What a start to the season. Brennan Dingle hauls it in. And UMass jumps out here on their home field. There's the old line in football that speed kills. And right there off the play action, Andrew Ford knew exactly who he was throwing the football to. Dingle just runs by two defenders and then does a great job of not only bringing in the to the right side. Comas to pass, has plenty of time, has a man wide open, Isabella, and with his speed, you can forget about it. Touchdown, UMass. <laughs> Miscommunication in the Duquesne secondary left Andy Isabella on those deep crossers. They, they just exit, not exit, uh, but I mean, it's a big X. If you see the wide receivers cross each other over the middle of the field, the Duquesne corner followed the play side crosser. You'll see right here, there's Andy Isabella, but you see the other wide receiver pull the corner from that side, and Isabella wide open down the sideline last year. He's no slouch. Ali gets it again, and Ali has the corner. Bilal Ali. Down the sideline, tripped up and almost got there. So close. And you see the motion goes away and then Ali just runs away from Greg Clater Jr. You can see Clater just kind of giving up right there and Ali almost got in. UMass up to the line quickly. They go to the ground and they're into the end zone for the third time this quarter. And it's fitting that Ali is the one who gets the final call. Touchdown, UMass. That is good looking out by offensive coordinator and head coach Mark Whipple. He got the big run. Make sure to take care of him. Look at the job in the middle of this offensive line. Just, I mean, crushing blocks from left. That referee community is small. The officials, they all take care of each other. Ford throws it underneath to his tight end, Kyle Horn. Horn cuts it back inside. He's brought down inside the 15 and a first down for UMass. UMass uses officials from the American. Mm -hmm. UMass obviously an FBS independent, so they know very well the American officiating crew. And there you see Kyle Horn with the catch and then what a great job by Jacoby Herring on the block downfield. Working quickly, Isabella tiptoeing on the sideline, paid the price and was rewarded with a touchdown. Those hits don't hurt as bad when you're crossing the goal line to get into the end zone. And how many times have we seen Andy Isabella, there's the fly sweep and the jet sweep. He runs around one defender and then what a great job down the field by Sadiq Palmer, number six, five, but seven, and he's making the most of it. On the delay, Barr trying to track down Hines, couldn't get him and Hines is down to the six. First and goal for Duquesne. Well, Parr will keep it himself. This is dangerous. Tries to throw it up, and he does for a touchdown. Parr slammed on the brakes right before the line of scrimmage. The officials say it is a good score, and Duquesne has their first touchdown of the evening. Yeah, it looks like he pulled up right before the line of scrimmage. And let's take a look. This is a clearly designed sort of gadget play. No question, the five was the yeah. line of scrimmage. Parr pulls up and, you know, you can't blame the UMass defenders for running to the quarterback. 
It is par at quarterback, and UMass is in the backfield. Xavier Steele slowed him down. Brighton Barr cleaned it up. You know, it makes sense to think that UMass is going to be on the attack considering that the head football coach in UMass, Mark Whipple, was uh, not completely thrilled with the way his football team was playing at halftime. It's Steele who gets the initial hit and Brighton Barr on the cleanup. Great job by both of those guys. And I think it's important for this UMass team to come out and show Mark Whipple that they can have a third quarter. Blitz. Intercepted. McAllister down the sideline, and he has a pick six in his UMass debut. Experience counts, and Bryce McAllister using all the experience that he went through playing at the University of Connecticut before transferring here to UMass. Reads it right off the hand, undercuts the throw, and off to the races. And watch him do a good job of using the blocker to ensure that he gets into the end zone. Good job by Chenenu Ogbana. 31 yards a game. So you can get a little look, perhaps, in what they want to do with Ali. And you get a look at Ross Comis scrambling out of trouble and running into the end zone for another UMass touchdown. Well, Matt Goldstein mentioned it after halftime that Jerry Schmidt, the cane coach, said we got to tackle once again. They've got the appropriate amount of pressure, but they can't get Ross Comas down. And then look at the effort of number 18, Taylor Edwards, right there in the end. In short, he's more of the threat with his legs. And you get an idea of what he can do when he's in trouble here. Yeah, it does a good job of sliding out of the pocket and moving around Larnell Coleman. And then again, Edwards with a great block there to ensure that Comus gets in the end. Third and goal. Parr's got some room to run, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. Daniel Parr scores the touchdown. He has a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown tonight. And it's 56-15 with the point after coming. Well, they motion Taylor across the formation, and you can see that Xavier Steele gets held there by the uh, tight end Stu Allen, number 89. He is on the goal line. Third down at 12 for Comis, throwing end zone touchdown. Zach Simon has his first UMass touchdown. Pretty throw by Ross Comas, too. Pretty straight shot for Comas. He knew where he was going. That ball got out quick. Good throw. Good catch right over the outstretched hand of the defender. 